Hi everybody, this is the John Crow, and in this video I'm going to continue on with my discussion of some of the new features in point 8 and illustrating how you can use them in your experiences. I wanted to look at the animated decoration and the event timer and see how I could harness them to make um, dialogue that's maybe a little bit more uh, engaging. So I'm going to just use my northwest east south blocks just to orient myself. I'm going to grab a blue one. blue and I'll grab a red one as well too and at least I'll be able to figure out where my my heading is there it is right there okay so I need the north right there so in order to start this I'm gonna grab an NPC so I'm gonna grab my character I was gonna use in the reggae golfer game actually I've got two of them there I'm gonna have them turn around face us and I'm going to use him to stack some dialogue. I'm going to start by using the new features in the behavior, animated decoration. And what's cool about it now is that you can specify multiple animations and you can trigger them off of one another, uh, one after the other or in sequence. And you can also use the messages to also trigger other elements like speakers or askers at the same time to make for some very rich conversations. Let's give you an example. Um, the first element I have in my animation decoration is uh, my crawl idle, and I don't really want that. Uh, I'm going to use one of the talk animations. It's going to play at regular speed. Uh, I'm going to be able to loop it infinitely. And in order to play it, I'm going to have the NPC receive a message, and that message I'm going to have is going to be uh, talk.1. I'm also going to have messages being issued at the start that lets the NPC deliver the message that talk1 has started and when talk1 has ended. This one is not so useful right now because I've got an infinite loop. I wonder if I break out of it by interrupting it so let's make it interruptible, if it will trigger talk.1.ended because it triggers after the animation finishes. And I don't know if that means the Vox edit animation length or the looping length. And so that remains to be seen. Uh, this character has a tag. This character I'm going to call the Reggae Golfer. And I'm going to add, sorry, I'm not going to add a component. I'm going to add another animation. Let's add a laugh animation. Let's have it play infinitely at regular speed, and it's also going to play based off of a message, and that's going to be laugh.1. And let's also indicate where that laugh starts and ends. So I have messages that trigger based on that. You could use this for doing some pretty cool uh, offsetting, uh, I'm guessing, delaying some things from happening around the character, but related to the conversation. So our character's talking, we then have the character laugh. Let's add a third one. Let's add in, um, what do we have here? I'm just gonna scroll through these. I'm looking for something idle where the character's, let's say the phone, he gets a phone call. So we're gonna have that play infinitely. We're gonna use a message and that's gonna be uh, phone.1. one. And we'll call this uh, phone dot one dot started and then phone dot one dot ended and we'll also make it interruptible okay so to summarize here we now have our golfer with our tag we've got an animated decoration and that animated decoration specifying one two three three a a a actions each with their own trigger uh, to begin playing them. I'm going to add one more animation in here just so we can get back to an idle. So I'm going to take this one and look for IDLE. I'll take idle one, put it on a loop, and again have a message trigger that action. And so we'll call that idle one starts it. When it's started, it's going to trigger the message the idle started. And when it's finished, we'll have the idle ended and it's also interruptible. 
if I hit play right now, I don't think it's going to really play any of them. It's still just going to play the, the default idle for the character. I'm also going to tab out of here into my global parameters and get the, the sort out of Steve Aoki's hand. And how are we going to trigger these? Well, that's where the new timed event comes in. So on our NPC, we have a list of animations that need to be played based on a message. And if I open up the um, uh, a ribbon, whatever you want to call this, uh, I'm going to turn off my filter name, open up my logic tab. So you'll notice now that the logic tab uh, gives us access to a number of different predefined assets. I'm going to use the logic asset. And I guess what we can do is use a speaker to detect the character, but I'm gonna build most of the logic on this logic asset here from the timed event behavior. Uh, I'm gonna use the behavior, timed events. This is for single player, but I'm gonna use my own little speaker component because it's just small. This isn't so unwieldy. I'm just going to set it to no collisions, turn that off, and this is just going to be used to detect the avatar. So we'll have it uh, turn off our text, turn that off, look off at the target. Oops, I'm a little bit hasty on my clicking here. <laughs> um, display duration, rotation duration, detecting the avatar within, let's say, three units. And the message it's going to be send is going to be start the conversation. going to broadcast everything and it's going to broadcast once for now. So over here in our timed event we need a message to start the conversation. So if I start that up, uh, start the conversation is our message that's going to start this sequence of events. It's also something that can be reset once it's finished as well too. So after the last event has been triggered, we could come back into this uh, speaker components radius detection and rebuild that same conversation or, or have that same conversation again. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna do is let me just double check on my, so we have talk, laugh, cell phone, idle. Talk, laugh, cell phone, idle, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my talk.1, so here's my talk event. And that event is gonna trigger a whole sequence of other events. And it's gonna start shortly after I walk up to the avatar. So we wanna give some time for the player to walk up to the avatar, so about 15 seconds, but let's say 1.5 seconds after we enter this, uh, this search radius, 1.5. What's going on here? Um, hmm, it doesn't accept decimal places. So, minutes, seconds. So we'll just say one second after, let's say two seconds after we receive the start the conversation message, we're going to send the message, talk, about one. And I don't believe we need to send it to tags, but I'm just going to send it anyways to the reggae golfer. And here's where we can start to set up our sub events. And what's important is the sub events are relative to the time of the starting event uh, of the actual talking. So the sub event in here is going to be um, the laugh. And the laugh event is going to happen after he's talked for a little bit. So let's say that if our event starts two seconds in, then relative to that, wait time to send message relative to the parent. So when this ends, let's say three seconds after that, we're going to want to generate the, the laugh. And the laugh is also going to be sent to the reggae golfer. And then after we've got the laugh working, 
We can then move into the phone call. So if this is three seconds after this one, then relative to it, maybe this one after he's left, let's say six seconds, the message we're gonna send is the cell phone dot one. That's the message to broadcast. And again, that's gonna also be sent to the reggae golfer. And I spelt cell phone wrong. Double check to make sure that is indeed correct. Laugh.1, phone.1. So I should have checked that. Okay, so I should at least have a sequence going right now, and that sequence should be uh, resettable. So my timed event asset is driving my reggae golfer's animated decorations based on the speaker detecting the avatar up to him and he moves into the talking and then into the laughing gut splitted laughing then he's talking on the cell phone and I think that's where we um, that's where it just ends it, it just kind of ends at that point there so we could loop back to the yeah, so it ends here on the phone. So we could loop back into the to the idle. So let's um, let's add a sub event. So this is the idle event. This is the phone event. So if he's talked on the phone for four seconds, so ten seconds would be relative to the to the start. And the laugh isn't really happening. So relative to the start time of two seconds, it doesn't happen for very long. So let's actually bump these up a little bit. Let's call these five seconds. This one would be eight seconds, and this will be 12. Um, so I misread this one. Uh, this five seconds is relative to the start where this one has actually been delayed by two seconds. And I just need to check one more thing. So in our idle event, the message we want to send is idle.1. And that can also be sent to the reggae golfer. All right, so we've chained these events together now. And if I run up to my, my friend, there we go. He's talking. Then move into the laugh. The laugh doesn't really seem to happen for long enough. And then he talks. So we could extend the time on a lot of these just by kind of messing around with this. Um, just the laugh event would be there, the phone event. Let's actually extend that. Let's call that like 11. So there's six seconds of laughing. And then when he's on the phone, let's say there's six seconds of the phone as well too. What I could do on top of this is also begin to chain in some logic to have the character speaking while he's changing animated decorations. Uh, for that, I'm going to take my speaker component. Again, I could use the logic asset. It's probably a lot lighter. The only reason I'm not going to here is because I need this logic asset to sit above my character's head. And this is just a big cumbersome object. So I'm going to duplicate this one. And so I'm going, uh, not from detecting the entity, but waiting for my message. The message required is going to be talk.1 and I'm going to display the message. Hey, how are you? And we'll display that for two seconds, only once. And this is going to uh, talk dot one. I don't think we need to specify the actual tag. Let's just test that out. I put this above the character's head and I make sure that it's invisible. Here we go. So if I walk up to the character, I do need the tags. And he's just talking to me, so let's give him the tag Reggae Golfer. So from there we can 
get into a, kind of a, like a funny joke. So let's duplicate that same speaker component. And this one should display for a little bit longer. It's going to be 2.5. And this will display when the laughing begins. And from there, the cell phone rings. And we'll display that for three seconds. And then we'll finish off with him saying, sorry. We're saying before it all disappears and we could potentially start it all over again. So again, this is really neat because this is all driven from this one logic block. So if I walk up to our character now, I'm going to get a combination of acting dialogue, Okay, so the timing is is off there. So let's figure out why that is. I'm just going to tease these all apart. So in the first one here, uh, let's find my first one. Hey, how are you? So we got, hey, how are you? We display that for two seconds. And we only display it once. Come into this one. The speaker component. I heard the funniest joke. The display duration happens because laugh dot one is spoken. And we only display it once. One sec. Call coming through comes in. At three seconds. Oh, I see what's going on here. Uh, this needs to change phone dot one so I don't actually think we need to to have the only once flag on if I had the only once flag on it's going to be problematic because I don't think I'll be able to play it again if I need to trigger it again so we'll go from talk dot one I heard the funniest joke laugh dot one sent then we come over to the phone call coming through phone call comes through Place once through, and then sorry you were saying, and then that one needs to be uh, what was that last one here? The idle it was just idle dot one, so this one becomes idle dot one. And if I bring them back together, we can run it through. Up to the avatar or to the NPC, and you can see the conversation should now play properly. And then back to the back to the idol. And I think it does it freeze here? No, because he's still he's just idling forever now. So if I ran away from him. Should get right back into this again. So that's a little bit on how animated decorations and the new timed events can work. There's a lot more that you can obviously do with this, but for now, this is a good overview, a good starting point. Uh, I'll be sure to add more tutorial content as we go through, and I'm going to be delving deeper into a lot of this stuff and just trying to push it as far as I can go. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Hope you uh, are enjoying some of the content here. Follow my YouTube channel uh, if you want updates when new tutorials are released. Until then, I'll talk to you next time. My name is the John Crow. Have a good one, everyone.